Good morning, folks. We've got a number of weather woes to discuss, including a tornado outbreak in New England. We've got one of the most visually stimulating article sections in a while, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were stiflingly quiet. No sunspots, no solar flares, no filament eruptions. Closest thing to action was a filament collapse on the north there. Solar wind at Earth is calming back down. Of note is the IMF shift from sun to earth to a return stream earth to sun. That's the phi angle in blue. Looking to the coronal holes, we see the departure of the core openings. Just sparse regions facing us now, but one point of strength is indicated south on the left as a lone incoming darker area. Let's go next to Mexico. Not a ton of reports or footage in from the landfall of Hurricane Willa last night. We do know authorities are rushing in behind the path of the monster. Meanwhile, the scene in Rhode Island was tornadic. Numerous circulations were captured on camera, and apparently late October is a fine time to have twisters in the Northeast. Let's go way, way out now to kick off science with galaxies coming together, forming clusters and then superclusters. but something interesting happens when a galaxy falls into a grouping. It stops making stars. A new study out supported by Keck shows some of the ways that formation quenching can take place, Personal favorite is the loss of cold gas feeding, which also means a loss of current source. Up next is Alma, taking the temperature of Europa, and it is not a warm, sunny place. Dozens to over 100 degrees below zero is indicated by the thermal emission. Amazingly, that subsurface ocean must be vastly warmer. Lastly, on the article front, we are peeking into the Cat's Paw Nebula. The views in optical and infrared have begun to be supplemented over the last few years with all the sub-millimeter and radio length observations. Now, as we are able to combine them and get wildly exciting new views of the nebula, scientists are also now certain that the shape of it is formed by new stars coming to life and blowing bubbles in the tenuous gassy pocket. Really amazing to see. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.